The tentative agreement reached between the UAW and Ford includes plans to close a local plant. The Ford Romeo plant is closing as part of the tentative agreement reached yesterday. Workers at the Romeo plant can either retire or move to another plant. The UAW Ford Council is meeting to discuss details like this in the agreement. They have to agree on the details before sending it to workers for ratification vote. Court dispute between Michigan's largest brewery founders and a former employee has ended. Today, the Grand Rapids-based brewery settled with Tracy Evans one year after he filed a racial discrimination lawsuit against founders. It comes as backlash from the suit caused founders to temporarily shut down its Detroit tap room. They have released a statement tonight reading in part, we are committed to moving the cause of diversity and inclusion forward for founders. We want every employee to feel valued, respected, and safe. The terms of the settlement are not being released. Waterford Township Police on the hunt for a trailer thief. Security video showing a silver Dodge Ram pickup truck driving off with a homeowner's trailer and red lawnmower on Dixie Highway near Loon Lake. If you saw anything about that time uh, or might have any leads that would help police, you're urged to contact them right away. A little rain tonight did not stop the spooky Halloween fun at Michigan Central train station in Corktown. The Michigan Central station coming alive tonight with people of all ages taking part in this year's trunk or treat trail along Verner Highway. Other activities included a haunted house, face painting, and cider and donuts. Indoors was the way to go tonight if you, if you right. have a place to do it.